is a better uh, improve for the oil heating is minimized for this one right so we have here like uh, the oil separate uh, the oil and refrigerant goes to the condenser is cooling the oil and goes for the oil filter side and this one you are talking about for this line is only for oil return oil. what is migrated right from the oil separator is a 0.5% 99.5 is separated which is the remain 0.5 it goes for the system through the refrigerant cycle so it will be collected here right so it will goes oil mixtures back to through the stainer is there right sometime if your solenoid is working everything is fine the stainer is clogged if any internal debris or something is there it's collected through this one so in this case oil, oil will not go, uh, go back to the compressor right so when you are doing the service you can just to isolate and just to open and have a look at that it, uh, yes now, now on the seal tab so seal tab you have the margin to clock right it takes time the stainer one is a very small is very quick this is stainer not the drive they have given the oil uh, filter drive so this is a solenoid right so they have given the you will find in the 250 to 400 ton capacity right so you will find this one where you have the two compressors in one circuit and they are not giving in a, another one if it have a only single compressors they don't have the solenoid right so they are saying that if you are facing the issue you, you have to go through with the field installation so you can do yourself right so you have to be installed by the same one and you have to be modified so if you have a maintenance contract there so it will be prevent you to any further failures so you can just to give them a, a preventive uh, action that's uh, this is you will improve this one and you save the compressor previous return previous return sorry previous previous return, return. You will get this all uh, through the link, huh? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> it's okay if you are taking, it's fine. Uh, okay. So this one we having uh, the oil separator. So internal what we have in the oil separator. So if you will see here, this is the refrigerant inlet, and you will see this is a, the pipe is going toward the gas will go to the condenser, right? So this is the inlet of the oil separator. This is outlet to the condenser. So from here, it separate the oil, so oil will go for the next slide, you will see. So we having this one, the vertic box, so we have this one, the line is goes to, to the compressor. So internal, it doesn't have anything just for a static part, right? So just to make, uh, help to separate the oil. So inside, yes, why is it facing the oil here? Couple plate maybe. You see this one? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Some cases uh, I heard about for the baffle plates. This yeah. is broken, so you will have a, a noise. Okay. So if you will see, this is, is make the centrifugal force here. So in that one, what will happen? The gas will go back to the condensers in the, on the surrounding area and the drop, and by the gravity, oil will back to the oil sump. Right. So here is a water box. So what happened is this baffle plate will support to go refrigerant back to the condensers. And because of the centrifugal force, the oil will be uh, on the on the surrounding valves. So it will become to the bottom by the gravity, okay? and then it goes to the outlet of the compressor for the filter side. So we don't have any things inside for that. So this is just to the reference that what exactly is doing. You can just explain your customer if somebody is ask you. So this is just separation of the oil. It's the main function for that. So this one they have given a vertic box, right? So af yes, after that one, that is it will come down. So we have in the vertic box, and uh, we have in the next one. This is one, right? So you will have to see there is a valve, right, for the oil uh, crankcase heater for for the oil separator heater. So it will work when your compressor is off. off. So when the compressor is start, it will off. off. So this is just to give you that uh, if your compressor is idle condition, so oil the, the, oil. The, the oil, I mean the refrigerant separate from the oil. So it will not have a throttle and panic start uh, in, 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 in lubrication for the initial start. So condenser and subcoolers, right? So we have the fence and uh, the copper tube, right? 
So air is flows uh, from here to here to it will transfer the heat to the ambient. So we having the e coil circuiting, right? So e coil design and the standard design. Before we have the standard design, so now we having this one for the new machines for the e design, right? So this is the configuration of the uh, e coil pattern, right? So if you look at here, this is a vertical coil and rear side, and this is a vertical coil for the front side. So if you look at on the physically, so you will have this one. So you will see here for the one. So this will, it's enter the, uh, the refrigerant from the one, right? So you will have this one, uh, if you will see, this is the E tube rear side and the E tube from the front side. So you will get it at the end of this one, so you will see that this one is a cross. Yes, cross one. one. So it will make like this one. So coil, uh, Arrangement for the RTAC 120 to 200, right? So the condenser configuration will be changed based on the capacity, right? So if you will have this capacity 1 to 2, uh, 120 to 200, so if you look at from the panel side, there is electrical panel, so that circuit will be uh, the if you will from, from the front side, so right side you will be circuit one, and the left side will be circuit two. So this is and the all capacity you will not find like that, right? So this is from this uh, capacity range you will have that one. So you can see here the 250 to 400. So you will see here from the electrical panel. So near the electrical panel is the circuit two, and the last one is the circuit one. So that is the configurations is based on the capacity. Okay. And also in this one, for uh, this unit, whenever you are have a, a 120 to 200 ton, if you look at for the uh, oil uh, level sensor, so don't be mistaken because which side is the compressor? This is for this circuit. I have seen it this one. The some technician made the mistake because he thought that he didn't check it physically he thought that this compressor is circuit one so this the li liquid level because you change the uh, evaporator for the other side so he changed that one and uh, he said still facing that problem they say i changed the new one and, and it's not sorting out so only for this 120 to 200 ton. and he didn't mention but definitely when you will plug off this uh, llid it will give you the communication alarm for the circuit two instead of the circuit one but this guy is physically thought this is belong to this one, but this was. Uh, yeah, he was, uh, he just went for that side, and he was saying that uh, I cheered this one, and even then they, uh, if they are working on this one, he pumped down this again, and he's, there is a pressure also. Yes. Nice, uh, I have a doubt, so you have to be checked uh, through the diagram, or even you have to be checked the physical yourself. So before you are doing in a refrigeration side, you are not sure which circuit is belong to which. So you have to be verify yourself first, because this is a is a, is a very uh, bad impression in front of the customers. If you made a mistake in front of that, they will never rely on your services. So we are using in that one the condenser fans, uh, uh, eight poles is depending on the RPM, so right? Six poles, the RPM will increase. So we have this type of the condenser fan in that one, right? So now, uh, I think so, uh, maybe you are aware of this or not. Whenever you are replacing this motor, you will have along with the blade. You can't change the blade from the another motor. And even you can't change the motor for RTAC. Because its blade is coming along with the motor is a balanced one. If you will make it replacing from another, uh, one blade from another motor and you change it that one, yeah. Uh, but this one I'm talking about for the uh, Europe, European one, right? So US one, I think, so is before they have the metal blades, right? No, it's not metal blades. Special condition, they are putting the plastic blades. Ah, okay. So special requirement for the customer. So in this one, uh, and the, uh, because uh, sometimes customers ask that so, uh, we have a problem with the blade, right? So this is the uh, the arrangement for the condenser fan assembly to the RTAC. So electronic expansion valve, it's the same one, it's, it's having a different capacities based on the uh, unit capacity. 
and circuit one and circuit two. The, yes. So both are not same capacity, right? So if you are changing this one, so don't uh, you have to be mentioned that which circuit you are requesting in the part. Right? But you can change the motor. I think so. Motor is same. Motor is not same. This is wall 74, uh, 8754 and 8751. No, I am talking yeah. about for the stepper motor. Yes, yeah, stepper only. But the motor is also different. Motor is also different. For 100 it's different. different. Yeah, if you will change with the same capacity, then it's fine, right? But yes. you can't change. Stepper motor is no more available. Uh, Before it was coming, right? Before now I think so they stopped. No stop. An outlet, uh, and then we having a. Uh, and this is replaced also. Uh, now, now we have the new ones. New so, one we, the yes, because yeah. you know, before we had the same thing in the CGAM. CGAM. So, you need to be have a expansion, expansion valve and separate, separate module, module, right? Because if you will place order, there's a two part. Module is separate part, and this expansion is separate. Same as so now it will be come for the RTAC, right? And then if you will have uh, uh, CGM units, so CGM. this module is same for the programming. So you have to place the order for both, any of the replacement of the expansion valve. So you have for the CGM and RTACs, you will have to place the order with module, the new expansion. If you place the expansion valve, it will come up simply then how you are going to binding this one. There is no, no option. It's, it's the same like if you will see the US one, the liquid level sensor is have a separate module before. Before. Old module. Now it's coming with. With the, with the same. Yes. Yes, yes, exactly. So remember when you are placing the order for this, so you will have to place the order with the module. So this one is the internal view for the uh, expansion wall. So they are having the uh, electronic assembly. This is the gate train. And the lead is two pistons, which is, is moving through the motors, and then this is a stepper motor. So it will be communicating with the processes and based on the parameters. So but we don't have any module for this. Which are? expansion module we don't have? No, 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 because, no, no, because if itself, if you look at here, this is the Bosch indicators, uh, right? So you will see here that it's changed this uh, color. If you will have a Bosch uh, in the system, Will change the color to the green. So this is normal operation. It's green. So you will see here when the expansion valve is closed. So side glass, you will see this rod, the gray one. It's closed. So this is half open. You can see the position here on the side glass. And this one is a fully open expansion. You will get this feedback signal in the controller that how much is the expansion valve position is open. Okay. So this is not. Sometime what happened is controller is giving the position but physically it's not open. Maybe the this screw is damaged or maybe it's stuck up, but the control feedback you're getting is shown uh, is fully open, but physically it's not open. So you have that's why the side glass is there. So you will have to be see physically. Can you have a how many how many slides this one is ten slides. Ah, ten. Ten. Okay. So, so this one they have the circuits, right? So you will have to see here uh, the water inlet and outlet. This is the circuit one and circuit two. Okay. So they and this one is a uh, the uh, liquid level sensor. It's three phase uh, and uh, two phase. What's, What's the difference between two no, phase and two yeah, phase? Because they this depend on the capacity, right? And it depend on your uh, requirement. Because we having a three pass. So we have an inlet from here, outlet from here, right? Yes. Yes. So this is this is depend on the uh, installation requirement, right? So even, even, even on the no, no, internally same no, because they have the uh, uh, the, the partition inside, so it doesn't make this. This is the three pass. It depend on the requirement, but you cannot make it. I think you can have up to six pass. No, in this one is uh, just two pass and three pass. Three pass. No, for evaporator. For evaporator. Yes, this is for the evaporator. We have up to three, six pass. Evaporator. No, no. RTAC we don't have. RTAC two pass, three pass. Three pass maximum. RTAC. 
RTHD we have also for the all uh, circuit one and circuit two you will see the refrigerant relief valve is there right if in case your HP is just a uh, low uh, pressure is ex exceeding by any case so it will release the uh, gas from this relief valve so and this is the circuit one circuit two and then uh, this is uh, for the liquid two hundred sorry two hundred two hundred is standard so it may be around two fifty yeah because uh, if you will look at for the Name plate on this one, so they 200. So that's 200 for the evaporator. No, I hope, and uh, the, this one is higher for the oil separator one. So this one uh, we having uh, the evaporator. What we are using in the RTAC, and right, it's a it's, it's a falling film technology, right? So we are using here in this one. So you will see here that the suction. Uh, we will say see in the next slides. So two um, phases in the refrigerant. So you will see here. This is the distributor plates. So you can see this is the tube. So what's going to happen? That the liquid is coming into that. So equally is distributing through the plates, and it will go and uh, touch with the surface, and evaporation is going to start. So what is the uh, process is happening here? So which is is coming? This one for the uh, uh, saturated liquid is is, is spraying through the dis uh, distributor plate. So suction is passing through that, so we have a heat exchange, right? So suction is going on the same uh, path, so we having an effect here for the heat transfer, right? So it will increase the efficiency of the uh, evaporator. Okay, so this one is uh, the, the distributor plate, right? So where the liquid is passed from this side, and then you will see it's equally sprayed to the, uh, the, the tubes. And this one is a physical. If you will look at uh, that house, the construction inside uh, the evaporator, right? So this is the distribution plate, and this is the tube sheet. So liquid level, we have this feedback signals also in the display, right? So it will be uh, plus 2.5 centimeters, and then it will be 25 mm, right? So you have to be you see which uh, unit you are using so it will become according to that so it will be uh, like uh, during the operation it can go up to uh, minus, minus 25 one. 25 mm and plus 25 mm right so this is the range of this uh, level sensor so if it's limiting the capacity so it's uh, indications that you have a lack of refrigerant so you will have to be see that uh, there is uh, some leakage so the zero here is a uh, normal offset since that zero is a uh, main yes, yes, zero is uh, not no. original no. Uh, if you like he's telling if you have lack of refrigerant so you have to see of this one if it is minus yes. The minimum, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes 25 that goes to the yes. It was minus 35 or minus 40. Uh, based on that, because normally, but 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 one case we have that uh, expansion wall was not operating because of the overcharge of the oil and refrigerant. And the customer said this valve is not opening, but you have to see the condition. Don't rely only the position of the expansion valve. You have to go through with the system and check that throttle. What is uh, operating then? Because now, now we have the sensor because it's changed. It's the old type of the float. Hi. Okay. So this one is a. Uh, I think so. This one is a float type. But I think so. They have given the wrong here, right? This is the new one. Yes. The slide is. This is showing physically the old one. This is a concept. Yeah. It's just, yes. So it's working on this one. It's a readable switch. So it's. it's <laughs> 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 I 